Yo, I don't know if you can four wheel in the Jag. No, no, we're just gonna put it right down here. Oh, okay, because we're four wheeling right now. We're off road. We're in a little dirt. We're all right. Hey, y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Chili, and I have pulled up all the way out here on the super duper west side. Uh, I am here at Shadow Ridge, checking out Shadow Ridge O'Connor. Super excited. Seth Feltz versus Seth Gallardo. My guy James Groff gonna be absolutely bananas tonight. Jacob Thurman, this game is loaded with talent. 3-0 Shadow Ridge, kind of the surprise of the season, unless you live out here. I'm gonna check right back in, and uh, I'll be at the field. All right, it is showtime here from Shadow Ridge. Uh, I cannot wait to watch this game. I am gonna stick around here for about a quarter. I wanna see what my boys from O'Connor have. These boys are tough. They're serious. My guy Brandon Craddock tackling everything in sight. Hey, if you're wearing that maroon, it might be a long night for you, just so you know. My guy Gabriel Monaco trying to introduce himself to every quarterback in the valley. Now, Shadow Ridge, they got some of these dogs and I cannot wait to check them out. Leo Pelele on defense. Hey, drop a comment. Let me know where I gotta go check out next. <laughs> Connor defense uh, holds it down and uh, brings our offense onto the field. <laughs> Heesh, looks like my man Blake Ware getting into that backfield. Groff trying to put him in the blender. Shadow Ridge defense not fooled at all. Yeesh. Oh, my man might be on the move. Oh. See you later. We're going over to Desert Edge. Oh, there's something going on. We're about to miss it. But hey, Desert Edge, we're coming. Ironwood, West Side Willie Haskell. West Side, baby, West Side! All right, officially made it over here to Desert Edge. Hey, real West Side vlog tonight. Actually, I don't know if they got their West Side cards still, so. halftime here at Desert Edge. I need to know how did Desert Edge put these 14 on the board? They started with a 24-yard touchdown reception by Kulik uh, from Adrian Lara and then 
Jerome McIntosh had a one yard run for the second score. They've been just running the ball rough shot over Ironwood in the first half. Jerome close to uh, 200 yards rushing yet? Not yet. He's getting up there. Hey, we're going to find out. Rent's due. Two bills. We need it. Hey, come on now. Come on now. 100 likes and tweets. You know I'm here, right? Hey, that's what he likes to see, man. We had Friday night. Hey, two weeks in a row. The other game. Two weeks in a row. Hey, appreciate it. But we only got 14 on the board. We're going to light this thing up or what? Hey, that's the, that's the goal, man. We're going to try to do what we can to get it right. All right, hey. Adjustments, adjustments. That's what we do, adjustments. Hey, Rents due. What do we got? Two bills, right? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Easy money, right? Oh, yeah. All right, about to get this second half started. D's about to run all this West Side electricity to their scoreboard. Either that or we're going to see West Side Willie Haskell show how he got that name. My man Lara about to get surgical. He found him. And he's gone. Lara's pass completes to Andrew Patterson. That's six the easy way. Yeah, man. Willie Haskell getting in on his uh, scoreboard action. Uh, Nehemiah Lindo wide open, I guess, kind of. I mean, with the SDSU product over there throwing. That's a special toss. That's a special quarterback. I, I'm impressed. I mean, Adrian Lara, give him all the props and love. Will Haskell delivered, delivered on that. <laughs> Drill over here uh, just hurtling defenders. I like that. Finish out play. Drill, finish out play. He's there. So this race gets back on the board on a one yard plunge by running back Jarrell McIntosh. He heading towards that two bills mark. More pancakes, more syrup, yes, more sir. pancakes. Just keep hey, watching. I told you two bills. I told two you two bills. Two bills. Looks like my man Elijah Sanders is going to take some snaps at quarterback for uh, Ironwood. Oh, the dude's tall, so it might be him, but it doesn't look quite him. Oh, All right, looks like my man Larry has found his target, and we're good. Oh, yes, sir! Come on! Fabian Lopez has uh, gotten in on the action, gotten in on that touchdown action, catching one from uh, Adrian Lara. I do not know the status of Will Haskell. My man Eric Newman's probably going to find that out a little bit later. I'm going to try. And that's all we can ask. Tell you now that did not feel good. Desert Edge defense doing their job and uh, gets to put their offense back on the field. We are officially in blowout status. Yeah, I think so. 34 to 7. You know, this was a, a game a few minutes ago and now it's a blowout. But I Blink of an I, eye. I'm still worried. I'm worried about all those penalties. There you go. Oh, 
Fabian Lopez in on this touchdown action, uh, taking one into the end zone from about a yard out, but he did most of the work. Betting wants to bet me a thousand dollars on that game. Drop yeah, the, okay. the, the heat, man. If I need They're to. A good six eight playoff team. Yeah. Not even a state champion six eight. Hey, the difference a week makes, right? Yes, sir. Thank you, hey, man. All that crazy Twitter talk, man. Were you guys motivated by that at all? Yeah, we just kept solid. We knew what we had working in the works. We just came out and showed it up. And you got that rent, right? Oh, yeah, I definitely got your rent. Y'all know how it starts? Hey, somebody light me up! Hey, we back rolling now? You look like you had that big game. You know, we had a good week of practice. Uh, got to the drawing board, watched some film, got better. That's all we needed. You know, I know you've been embracing a new system, a new philosophy and stuff with the new coaches. What's that situation been like? Uh, you know, uh, the Carters, they're a good set of coaches and the coaches they brought over. So I'm really uh, proud of what these guys uh, went through with uh, like the uh, pandemic and all that. So. I'm really proud, that's all. Big play Patterson. Is, is the box finally unlocked? The box has been unlocked. We just had to get our old line together. Once our old line started clicking, it was, it was over for them. What's your favorite part about uh, you know being a part of this Desert Edge team? My favorite part about this team is, you know, a lot of these kids I've been playing with since I was in the seventh grade, sixth grade, so I've been growing up with these kids. So, you know, this being our senior night, we really felt like we had to put a statement out there, let everybody know that our offense is one of the best offenses in the state. And we did have a bad week last week, but everybody has their bad weeks, and we're going to come back better and stronger every week. No question about that. What you guys put up that 40 burrito? Yes, sir. Let everybody know. Yes, I sir. saw you making some defensive back omelets out there. How special is this run going to be for you guys? This run's going to be special. We're looking to make the open eight. Once we make the open eight, it's going to be that number one seed. We're coming for that number one seed, and we're going to win that ship. Hey, Castillo just lost, so y'all moving up. Yes, sir. This looks like an open defense, and the way their offense played, it looks like an open offense. Package it all up together. I see them as a six seed, five seed maybe. Uh, I tell you what, I think once they play Sunrise Mountain, we'll definitely know, but I think the balance of offense is something that I've seen that's different compared to last year. Yeah, everybody knows about Adrian, but the way Jarrell, the Mack truck, Macintosh is stepping up this year. I mean, they've got a, a two-headed monster there with Adrian and Jarrell in the backfield. Pancake All season in effect. Hey, you get that syrup, a little bit of oh, butter. Yeah. Hey, I know you got to be excited. What happened in the last six days? Last six days? That's just called hard work right now. Like, our coaches were on our butts every single day. We knew what we were going to do when we came out here, and we proved it. Open bound. Yes, sir. All right, punch that ticket. Y'all know all that tough hey, Twitter bro, talk. All I got to say is don't ever disrespect Scorpion football, bro. I'll, Especially I'll send it to Gavin. Gavin will send it to you. All I got to say is offense bought out. Adrian Lara, I give props to you. Offense alignment especially. Matt Saban Rama was stepping on offense after he been playing defense for like three years. And offense bought out tonight. Defense you did too. Keep him at seven. Hey, we on the West Hall, bro. I don't want to hear none of I don't want to hear none of smoke. Oh, we want smoke. Wait, you said own. We own the West Side. Own. This own. Own. Ownership. Okay. Okay, so this is officially the West Side. Oh, yeah, sir. Okay. Once you hear about West Side, everybody's going to think about Desert Edge. It's something simple. All right, man. Hey, I'm curious, you know, uh, what was it that uh, happened the last six days? that got the offense absorbing all that defensive energy, all that good energy. This practice has been great. Defense has been giving it to offense, offense has been giving it to defense just back and forth. What makes this defense so special? What makes them go? 100% uh, buy-in. Uh, they understand the scheme. They understand the, the system and um, the type of defense that we run. They get to be aggressive. They get to be themselves. And I think that's the best part is that they, they really bought in. My man, RJ Roberts, what makes him so special? Man. He's a team player, um, and and we sit him on a lot of stunts and stuff like that. And so he knows he fi he's figured out that the stunts aren't necessarily for him. And so he clears it out for somebody else to make a play. So that's the type of buy-in that we have. Hobbs has been amazing for you guys this season. What what makes him so great? Man, he's first of all he's number one in the class academically. Second of all, he's very unnoticed because he doesn't wear the spats and the gloves. He just comes out and he balls. And he's really that's why he's a captain for us, man. And we're just excited uh, to have him. And man. He's just a leader. He's just a leader. Hey, and you, you guys giving all this uh, energy to the offense. Let's talk about this offense real quick. You guys lit up this scoreboard. Y'all, hey, I came through. Y'all lit up this scoreboard. Bro, I didn't come through for you last week. I had to come through. We had to come through this week. Facts. You know, our players, they heard all the talk. Hey. We, we, we didn't even have to tell them. And they just, they, they, I didn't take it personal because I'm a grown man. They took it personal and said, Coach, we got you. Don't, you ain't got to say nothing. You ain't got to do nothing. We're going to take care of it. And they handle business. What did you do with this offense that got them right? We held everybody in caliber, including myself, because, you know, 
I'm at the top of the food chain, so if anything's going on, it starts with me. And so we all had a had a meeting. We, we talked about it. We got right, and the word of the week was purpose, and there was a purpose tonight. Talk to me about the special offensive line that you have. You know, left to right, we got Logan, Gavin, Uriah, Ethan, and Jaden. You know, they, they've had enough, too. They heard all the talk, um, and I just told them in, in the, in, at the beginning of the game, in the locker room, I told them, like, hey, listen, this is an opportunity for you to make a statement. And if you want people to stop talking, if you want, get, want people to give you respect, you got to go take it.